So today's vlog is a snapshot into a day in our lives while we are here living with my parents. We have been living with them for a couple of months, as you guys know. Um, and I figured that would be a really interesting vlog to film because that's probably not something that's all over YouTube like a lot of other vlogs. And that's just not something that just anyone can say that they have had the chance to do. So I figured that that might be something you guys would find interesting and something that, you know, years down the road, it would be fun for me to look back on and kind of remember what it was like. And yeah, so if you want to see what it's like to be a married person with a child and living with your parents, then just keep watching. So you ate a half a banana, a whole egg, you and, a whole orange. and a whole orange. Good job. This is his wagon. He asks us to give him a little ride in the wagon like three times a day. baby's playing somewhere. Where is he playing? There he is. And this is my little morning routine. So first thing I do is I do my start today journal by Rachel Hollis. Um, this is what the inside looks like. I have a IGTV video going up on this soon. Either a few days ago or a few days from now. I'm not sure exactly when that goes up, but soon. Um, and this just helps me set my intentions every morning. And then I have my little prayer diary where I just kind of write out a page of prayer. And that's just, I've found that if I want my Christian walk to be where I want it to be, this is something I pretty much just have to be doing. I've tried stopping, it's just not good. So I do that. And then this notebook is just kind of my random scratches notebook. And so I'll have my, um, like my list of my day going on and stuff in there. So I know like, depending on what day it is, like what I need to be doing, what videos I need to be filming, what errands I need to run, what chores need to be done, all that kind of stuff. So, he's just over there having all kinds of fun. So anyway, that's kind of my morning routine. That's how I keep everything straight. Um, I become very reliant on that notebook, the busier things get, so. That's, that's what's going on right now. I'm gonna take probably half an hour, get all that done. It's 10 o'clock, but this little dude is acting very, very tired. Usually nap time is like 11, but he's acting tired and he's got a runny nose. Say night night, I'm gonna go take a nap. Say night night, night night. Um, so we're gonna go put him down for a nap. Okay, so the baby is sleeping. Mom and dad are still gone. And this is typically the time that I'll use to get just some stuff done. Um, it's kind of hard to do stuff, obviously, with like a baby running around and stuff. So some of the things that I need to do, like while he's sleeping, I really just quickly bust those out while he is taking his first nap and then you know, anything left over is for a second nap. But depending on the day of the week, things change. So on the days that I need to film, I really try to do that during his first nap. So then I can finish up anything during the second nap. Um, I'm not filming today because this is the filming that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna kind of do some chores, do some laundry, stuff like that. I am making dinner tonight. Um, that's one of the things I kind of wanted to show you today is my day for cooking. So since I am living with my parents, I don't have to cook every day, which is, has been like so nice. Um, I cook a couple times a week. Today is one of my days to cook. So I'm gonna show you the meal that I'm cooking. Um, I don't need to get started on that yet because it's barely 11 o'clock, but I'm gonna do that. I need to go to the bank later, which 
I think it'll be after my mom gets home because um, Andrew's truck is kind of needing some help. So he had to take my car all this week. So I don't actually have a vehicle, but after my mom gets home, I'm going to take her car or have her drive me or whatever to the bank to get some stuff done. So I think I'm gonna get a little bit of food. It's not quite lunchtime yet, but I'm hungry already. So I'm gonna get some food and then I will probably just knock out some, like I said, some laundry and then some work on my phone. So I wanted to show you the fridge because that's one of the things that we have to do a little bit differently since there's two different families living here. So our fridge is out in the garage because we have a fridge that was given to us. Um, so that's out in the garage. So since we have this one like packed full of stuff for everybody, that one has like extra stuff that we can't fit in here. But like this is our drawer for like Andrew's salads and stuff. And then when it comes to like grocery shopping and stuff, we just kind of take turns doing it, I guess you could say. Um, every time one of us will go to the store, we just kind of get everything for everybody. And then stuff like for Andrew's lunches and stuff like that, we buy. And then the days that I make dinner, like I'll buy the ingredients. And then the days that mom makes the dinner, she buys the ingredients and stuff. So it all kind of evens out, it all kind of works out. Um, and it's just kind of nice because I spend less time cooking, which is nice. It's gonna take a little getting used to when we move out, actually having to like cook all the time, so. But yeah, that's how we are doing the whole food situation, which I thought you might find interesting. figured I would talk about this because it's a good little look into kind of things that I do every day, but I was just scrolling Facebook because that's what I do, is trying to sit down and force myself to drink a full thing of water, which I find using something with a straw and just planting myself down and just sitting there until I drink it all is like the only way I can get myself to drink anything. So I was sitting here working on my little thing of water for a couple of minutes, scrolling Facebook, and I saw that we had a new collection well, that just came out for the holidays. So I immediately, since I was still working on my water, I immediately started creating some really cool slides for it using, dang it, what was the app I used? I believe it was In Stories, and I created some really cute little like Christmassy themed slides and put it in my Instagram stories immediately because I know if I waited until tonight or tomorrow, I would totally forget. So just a quick little, I just spent 15 minutes doing that. Um, quick little glimpse into like what I do day to day, um, just creating stuff. Sometimes it's, you know, a big project like this little vlog today or one of the videos that I put on my YouTube channel or my IGTV videos or whatever, but then sometimes it's just, I see a collection and I immediately drop whatever I'm doing as long as it's not like too important and throw together a couple little signs and put it up on my Instagram stories and tell people about a new product that just launched before it sells out, because things like that will tend to sell out really quickly, which is why I try to do it immediately. Um, and yeah, just a quick little, I don't know, I thought that might be interesting, but the house is quiet, Boo is still sleeping, so yeah. Good morning. Good morning, oh you wake up happy. You woke up happy. You got your puppy? You slept so nice and long. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Mm. We'll say good morning to Grandpa. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Did you have a good nap? Bye-bye. Nope. What are you saying bye-bye for? <laughs> Be hot? Ah. Yeah, good job. That's the hot. Say hot. Oh, just one time? Okay. This is so fun! This is so fun! <laughs> what are you 
you think? Are you covered in leaves? I said he better and he just laid back. <laughs> I just said him in and he just laid back down like, hey, this is pretty cool. Is he comfy? <laughs> okay, let's go dump you in the garden. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, since they're outside playing right now and having all sorts of fun, that was probably the cutest video I have ever taken of him in the wheelbarrow. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I got a package in from Pink Blush, which is a maternity um, a little store. Um, they also carry like regular clothing and I really like it because they're maternity clothes like you can wear when you're not pregnant. So uh, about a week or two ago on my IG stories, I did like a little try on of some items that I had gotten because of a gift card and stuff and I had shown them and how, you know, me, not pregnant, was able to wear all four of the items and they looked great. So anyway, this little portion of the video I'm so excited to announce is my first sponsorship because they sent me, they contacted me, gave me the information to sign up for their ambassador program. So they let me pick out one free item and this is what I picked out in exchange for some pictures. And depending on how I do with the pictures and stuff like that, then they might choose to work with me again in the future. But anyway, I figured since I was vlogging today anyway and I just got the package in, I would show you the sweater that I got. Hopefully, I, I hope I like it. And yeah, I'll do a little photo shoot or something with my husband this weekend and we'll work on getting the content created. Hopefully it's good, but I'm really, really excited about that. This is the first time. I've gotten the chance to work with a brand at all in any way, so I'm gonna show you what I think. Look, okay, so um, right after I ordered it, I ordered my true size, which is medium, and then right afterwards I was like, oh dang it, I should have ordered a large, because last week when I got some of their items, one of the sweaters, the, the only sweater I got was, they were sold out of everything but the largest. So I had to get a large, but I ended up loving it because I love my sweaters. We just a little extra chunky and oversized. So right after I ordered, I was like, dang it, I should have gotten a large because I, I know I prefer the fit, but this is a maternity sweater, which means that, I mean, it looks totally fine, but it's a little bit extra big. Like it has the room where I could button this over a bump someday if I wanted to. So it's plenty like oversized and comfy and just like mm, and stuff. So. I really like it. Let me turn it around so you can see a little bit better. See, that's the color. It's kind of this waffle, like, print um, texture, kind of bumpy and nubby and wonderful. And it's got the big grandpa buttons. I really like it. This shirt is from uh, Pink Blush as well. And this is the one that when I was trying on last week, I was like, I might not have, because they have a section that's maternity and a section that's not. I think I might have accidentally gotten this one from the section that's not, which I mean, that's not a bad thing. I just, for some reason, I thought that all of the items I was getting was maternity. So this one, I don't think it is because it doesn't have like a ton of extra room to grow into it, unless it's really stretchy. I mean, I'll try it on someday when I'm pregnant, but I don't think I could fit a bump in this one. But anyway, just so you know, both of these items are from Pink Blush. Thank you so much to Pink Blush for sending this to me. I did pick this out myself and stuff, but I was just so exciting. My first, my first sponsored post. Look at little baby boo. He's swinging outside. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to show you that because it came in the perfect day that I was vlogging and I love it. Look who's home. What's up? I just had dinner and now it's finally home. Yay. Have we been vlogging today? Whoa, that yes. don't look pretty. Uh, we have been vlogging today. Okay, practice vlog. Yep. Practice vlogmas. Yep, sort of practicing for vlogmas. Gotcha. Sharing a day in our lives while living with my parents because I figured that's something that not everyone can vlog about. Mm. <laughs> I'll give you guys a little glimpse into what I'm working on right now. I'm using Wix to create a new website. And that's what I've got so far. I'm gonna have links right there for a bunch of different things to shop. 
all my, you know, to take you to my Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube, stuff like that. So that's what I've got. But all that right there took me about four or five, six hours. So, but that's kind of the project I'm working on right now. Website stuff like that can be really tedious sometimes, but it's fun. I enjoy it. I get the creative freedom to do whatever I want to do with it. So I enjoy that. Um, yeah, it's like eight o'clock. We're just kind of chilling. Andrew's home. The baby is sleeping. He took a very, very late nap today because his first nap was just kind of long, kind of late. So he's sleeping late, but thanks for hanging out with me today for that little glimpse into a day in our lives. I'm going to end the vlog here. It is late, late, late. We are headed to bed. Andrew has to get up very early in the morning, like literally in like four or five hours. I don't know how he's going to do it, but we're exhausted. You can see the bags under my eyes. So we're going to go to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Um, I'm going to try to do stuff like this a little bit more often. I like vlogging. I find it fun. Hopefully you guys find it fun too. So yeah, preparing for Vlogmas. We've got less than a month left. So exciting. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.